Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of June the 1st to June the 8th. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel and your loyalty and your interest in these videos is what keeps me coming out and I am truly blessed to have you here today. We start our week today Virgo with a beautiful water card and I love the water cards, but this particular water card is the five of water, and it's not <clears throat> your typical romance card. It speaks about things for some of you that aren't turning out the way that you had wished they had or you had hoped that they would, and perhaps it may have to do with the romance in your life, but anyway, it can have to do with family issues and things like that too around you uh, in, your, uh, in your circle of love, and love doesn't necessarily always have to be in the romantic realm of things and this speaks of that some of you are not actually seeing a positive in any of this situation that has not turned out the way that you wished it had or hoped it had and it's as though you are crying over spilt milk and I tell everybody this all the time do you know how easy it is to clean up spilt milk gone on Tuesday you've been given a major card and this particular major card is the dreamer and the dreamer is telling me that some of you are going to have a leap of faith right now and that you need to know that there are some unexpected opportunities uh, coming into you and you need to exert your independence and you need to approach this opportunity coming into you that could perhaps be challenging with optimism. <clears throat> On Wednesday, you've been given a fire card, my friend. And this particular fire card is the Nine of Fire. And maybe this has to do to, with the Dreamer card um, that you just received. But this says don't give up. Um, protect that which you've created, which belongs to you, which is yours and yours alone. And you need to have courage right now and to believe in yourself. On Thursday, you've been given an air card. And this air card is the Knight of Air. And he could be someone around you. This, this, uh, this adult individual who is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, and tends to be tireless. And he, he charges into situations uh, and often for others' defense. So um, this tells me that there are events that are occurring around you with great speed right now, uh, Virgo, and that you need to take time to carefully review the options of these events coming in at that speed and the solutions will come out of this <clears throat> creatively now perhaps and because the air cards refer to uh, the legal system um, communications uh, the justice system and so on uh, things that can bring us little concerns and worries perhaps this knight is someone who is representing you right now in the legal system or in the communications uh, world. <clears throat> On Friday, you have been given again a, a king, and he is the king of air, and he may be someone around you right now, and the king is very mature. He's an older individual. He's wise. He's lived a lot of his life, and he's been able to take care of his court and his life. He's motivational. He's idealistic. He's ambitious, and he can be very charismatic, so I'm sure some of you know who this individual is right now, and this card speaks of you needing to focus on a situation that's happening around you right now, and um, and you need to communicate with others, but do it with vision because you can be a leader and you tend to take on leadership, the leadership role. Um, but know that uh, this king is around you and you may want to lean on him for some, uh, some creative advice when it comes to dealing with this issue you're focusing on. On Saturday, you've been given another king, and you've had a lot of kings around you. This is, well, this is the second king you've had, and this particular one is an earth king, and um, he's generous, professional, responsible, and practical it are his personality traits, but he's someone around you in business, someone around you that has to do with your employment and your job and your profession, and they're saying right now it's a successful time for you in this business, in this work that you do, um, and you need to uh, confidently accept accept any new opportunities that are coming into you at this point that you're being offered because it's almost as though no matter what you do you're going to land on your feet everything's turning up roses and they refer to you as having actually having the Midas touch with dealing with this particular situation at your work uh, or at your profession. 
You again have another Earth card for the end of the week on Sunday. And this particular one is a queen. And she may be your employer. She may be someone you work with in authority. Uh, she is a queen. She's very, she's in control. She's thoughtful, creative, warm, and she's a very sensible woman. And you may know who she is right now around you. But this speaks of um, you need to make more time for yourself. Okay, you need to pamper yourself right now and whatever situation you're dealing with, you need to take a sensible approach to it. And you need to deal with any kinds of challenges in your life with kindness and, 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 and deal with them in an understanding manner. <clears throat> At the end of the week, I did get that one oracle card to tie in your week. And I have to tell you, this is the second time this particular oracle card came up and it was shuffled and shuffled and shuffled the deck prior to this. And I hide the previous cards in the decks before I ever ask for my guys to send me them to you, Virgo. And this was the card that you got. Truth and integrity. And it's telling me that right now you need to be very careful with who you bring into your circle of friends and your and, and around you. And that you need to only want those people that have the same truth and beliefs that you do and the same integrity and outlook on the things that you do. So because other people out there may not have the same motives, but this is important to you, Virgo, uh, that you do bring these people because you personally do believe in, in integrity and you do believe in being truthful yourself. I thank you for this reading, uh, for this, uh, for coming into my channel and coming into these videos again. Your uh, loyalty and your interest in them means everything to me and it keeps me coming back every week. I do have a website, as you know, and it's www.brendatarot.info. I leave you again, my friend, with another quote. <clears throat> And the quote that I chose today is, live your life, take chances, be crazy, don't wait. Because right now is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you'll ever be again. I want you to know, Virgo, I will continue to stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.